I'm going to ask you to start with a little exercise. Just try to imagine what the, what the world would be without internet. It's really hard to imagine today. That's because the internet has empowered us to do so many things. It's been a wonderful enabler. It enables people to do things we couldn't do before, economic activities, unknown, otherwise, learning. We're exploring fantastic new ways to learn, and democracy as well. Which is why I really think that internet neutrality should be a human right. Just like I need to drink, well, I don't drink the internet, but I need to have access to the internet. So, <clears throat> I really think it has to be protected. One way that we've been using is what's called net neutrality. I'm going to read you the principle according to which all internet traffic is treated equally, without discrimination, restriction, or interference, independently of its sender, recipient, type, content, device, service, or application. Well, that's a long description. To try and make it clear, I'm making an analogy. Imagine a phone call. I'm calling a friend of mine who lives in New York, Eduardo. And, uh, well, I decide to talk to Eduardo about my work. You know, here in Europe, is wow, it's really tough now. And we talk for about 10 minutes from France to New York. And that, cost, that call would cost us $1. Now, imagine the same situation. I'm calling again Eduardo in New York from the same place, and we're going to call about the movies, eh? because I like uh, Al Pacino, so we said, oh, that was a nicer movie. And uh, that call would cost us $3, simply because we chose a different topic. Even worse, imagine that I want to talk with Eduardo, always in New York, always for 10 minutes, about my political views, which maybe are different from the political views of the phone company that I'm using. Maybe the call would cost $9, or maybe, even worse, <laughs> the call would be completely blocked. So, it's really important that we have a neutral internet without worrying about what's happening behind the doors, because unless we have that, we cannot make an open government, we cannot have a good <laughs> democracy, even good healthcare, and so many other aspects that now are fundamental. So, it's really important that we have open access to all, because that lowers the barriers to innovation. Imagine, I am an individual, maybe in an isolated place. I come up with a brilliant idea. Thanks to the web, if I have a free access to it, well, I can try to gather a number of people behind me, and who knows, <laughs> maybe I can change the world for the better. So, it's really important, because creation is only limited by our imagination, if we have access to the Internet. It's very important to be aware now of what's happening. Just last week, a vote here in the European Parliament was in favor of uh, a net neutrality, whereas a few months ago in the United States, we had a vote which was going against it. I think it would be really interesting to, to find a way to have a global solution instead of having each one in individually trying to, to come up with a solution. Also, because what we're doing now is going to have an impact in the next decades to come. And since I really believe deeply that knowledge and a free sharing can make me a better person, I want to make sure that my daughters too they're going to have a free internet. <laughs>